Hey guys, Dr. Andre Pineset, the pre-med productivity expert here. It is December 31st, and I am kind of sad today, guys. Ronda Rousey got beat last night and got beat badly. Uh, Ronda Rousey is one of my favorite fighters. I love everything she stands for, everything she's about. But I want to talk about the lessons you can learn as a student from Ronda Rousey's fight last night. So the first thing is that confidence is everything. Without it, you have nothing, literally nothing. And one of the quotes that I love is, if my aim is to prove I am enough, then I am doomed to not be enough. As the battle was already lost, the day I conceded, the issue was debatable. And that's from Nathaniel Brandon. And you guys know Ronda Rousey. If you don't know, she was so confident. I mean, everything about her was, I am undefeated. I am amazing. No one can ever beat me. And that's the way she approached fighting. In every fight she won, she got more and more confident, more and more self-belief, and you could just see it beaming off her. And when she would enter the ring, her confidence would literally swallow up her opponents. And immediately, it would respond, and that opponent would be intimidated, right? Would be insecure and be like, I shouldn't be in here with her. She's going to jack me up. And they would make careless mistakes. As you saw that people would charge her and let her grab, right? Because they weren't thinking, because they were overcome by her confidence. And if you watched the fight last night, when she entered the ring... The moment Amanda Nunez entered, Amanda Nunez was confident, you could tell. She believed in herself, and Ronda was just nervous, it seemed like. like she was super nervous, and that nervousness translated into, right, and the insecurity and the nervousness translated into her being hesitant. And then when she got hit once, right, faced with that adversity, that hesitancy turned into paralysis. And how many of you guys, right, when you feel insecure, when you don't feel confident, how many of you guys have been moved to being hesitant, or even being paralyzed and procrastinating and putting things off and not really going for things like you should, right? And it leads to this huge fall off, this drop off, and this loss in your life. How many of you have experienced that? That's the power of confidence. And not only does it work within yourself, right? When you have that adversity, when you come in insecure, you're going to have problems, but other people can't believe in you. And this is something I'm telling all the time. Other people cannot believe in you unless you believe in yourself. That's the facts of life. Everyone responds to confidence with confidence in the like. But if you are insecure, right, if your shoulders are down, if you can't make eye contact, then how can I believe that you can do something amazing? You have to do that. You have to let medical schools know that you believe that. When you interview, when you write your personal statement, anytime you are around someone, you have to let them know that I have confidence in what I can do, so you should have confidence in me. Otherwise, they won't feel that confidence, and you'll be eaten up like Rhonda was last night. It was so sad. So... Get your confidence together. I'm always stressing this. If you've taken my course, Start Early, Study Smart, Finish Strong, you know I stress confidence. Any of my courses, I stress confidence and reducing anxiety. Those are two things I, I have in all my courses is a section about how you increase confidence and a section about reducing anxiety. Because if you can't be confident, the battle's already lost. You can't be trying to prove yourself and show people what you are. you got to know what you are. And then show them, right? It'll just come out because you believe and you know what you are and what you bring. But if you don't have confidence, man, last night was it was hard to watch. It was just it was a shell of her former self. So that's the difference that confidence can make in a performance in that case. But in your case, in the classroom, if you're confident in your abilities, you're gonna have success. Because then you're gonna work to develop those abilities and bring those abilities to their full capabilities. But you're limiting yourself if you don't believe in yourself. So that's the first point I got from that. The second point is there is always someone hungry to take your spot. And if you don't stay hungry, if you don't stay on the grind, if you don't stay 100% focused, it's easy to slip just a little bit and have someone else who's on that grind every day catch up to you. And you could tell, right, in the last year, Ronda Rousey's been very distracted. There's nothing wrong with that, right? Because she has other opportunities that are going to give her money and survive for her family and all those things. And But at the same time, other people were hungry in one single lane. Amanda Nunez, she knows my only shot in life is to be the best fighter I can be. And she is grinding in the gym every single day. On days that Ronda's doing a photo shoot, where she's on set in a movie for 30 days, Amanda's working, working, working. And you can just see the difference how Ronda Rousey, when she first came out, all she could do was grapple. And then you notice that she started having some striking ability. But without working on that newfound striking, it's regressed and Amanda's right in there popping her in the face. So in your pre-med life, always understand, right? If you're a student in pre-med, you have to be hungry. 
because there's always someone waiting to eat your lunch. And if you don't stay hungry and say, this is mine, I own this, right? And keep claiming it and working every day to make it yours, you're going to have a problem. And people are going to start catching you because all the ability in the world, all the talent, all those things, you get to a pinnacle of success. All anyone cares about is your last move. And now everybody's saying that Ronda Rousey is terrible and she was never anything and all this stuff. She's not terrible, but that's the last impression you leave. And it's the same way with medical school. If you want to get to medical school, you got to be a strong impression the whole way out. People ask me about the uptrend. Why is the uptrend so important? Because it's the last thing you're leaving them with. Is that up high? But what you don't want to do is 4.0, 4.0, 2.0. What is that? You have to excuse it away. So always stay hungry and always know that it's not what you've done in the past. It's what you're doing today and what you're going to do tomorrow that really matters. The last thing I learned from the fight last night and I've already known this, but I think it, it makes a clear picture for you guys out there, is that the world is full of haters. People who would love nothing more than to see your downfall, your demise. You have to understand, and this is why I'm so into personal power and self-belief and self-confidence, at the end of the day, nobody wants to see you succeed like you want to see yourself succeed. And you have to understand that there's a lot of people out there that not only don't want to see you succeed, they actually want to see you fail. So you have to, at all times, be prepared for the haters coming at you and recognize that people are going to talk trash on you. People are going to be negative. People are going to shoot you down. And one of the quotes I saw on the internet that was cool was, haters don't really hate you. In fact, they hate themselves because you're a reflection of what they wish to be. So let me re-say that because I kind of mumbled through that. Haters don't really hate you. In fact... They hate themselves because you're a reflection of what they wish to be. When people are hating on you and criticizing you, you should know at that point, you should keep going. You should go faster than what direction you're going because you're on to something. Because they see your success and they have all this insecurity, right? They don't have the drive. They don't have the aspiration. They don't have the motivation. They don't have the heart to be successful. And so it's much easier to criticize you for going after something, for having success, and to try to pull you back to where they are, then it's for them to actually do something themselves. People criticize me all the time. All the time. In the hospital, oh, you're doing this wrong. You're doing this wrong. Do this way. Do this way. Right? On here with you guys, I get people criticizing me all the time, telling me that I'm terrible, telling me that I'm awful, all that stuff. I can't let that phase me because I know what I'm doing. I'm having an impact. Both in the hospital, I'm doing great things. And also in these videos and in my courses, I'm helping you guys. And if there's someone out there who wants to hate on me and criticize me for what I'm doing, all I know is that that's a reflection of how they feel. Because they can say, oh, Dr. Pine said you're not doing anything. My question is, what are you doing? What are you doing if you're going to criticize me? And the answer is nothing. And so I want you guys to understand that haters are going to hate, but you got to use that as fuel to push yourself on and know that they wish they could be doing what you're doing. So never let anybody shake you from your belief, right? Your confidence, your drive, your work. Just keep grinding and go to be successful. Focus on success and the rest will take care of itself. But if you let people degrade you and shake your confidence and get you off track and not really focused on what you need to be focused on, you're going to be in trouble and you get knocked out like Ronda Rousey did last night. And for all the haters out there that are hating on Ronda Rousey because of last night, I think you guys are terrible people. Because Ronda Rousey not only did great stuff for herself in terms of her fighting and is a tremendous fighter, you don't get to the top of UFC if you're terrible. That's the first thing. The second thing is people don't understand the power and the symbol that she's been for young girls about female empowerment, right? For a group that was right didn't have a voice, she's given it that voice. And she's really inspired a lot of people. And so I commend Ronda Rousey and all the rest of you guys who are poo-pooing her out there, telling her that she's terrible and she was never anything and are happy to see her downfall. I think you guys are terrible people, but on a bright note, <laughs> right? let's end this on a good note. As a student, three things you need. Confidence, grind, and understand that people are going to hate on you, but don't let them throw shade on your shine. Have an excellent new year. I'll be back at you guys in early January. If you haven't already, get over to my website. I got new courses popping up all the time, including my medical school interview course is now up. My how to study successfully course is now up tremendous they're amazing so get over there and check that out thank you guys very very much and uh see you in 2017